Hey fellow Backyard Boyers, Nick here. Now today I'm going to show you how I forged a simple oyster knife out of a piece of rebar. To build this knife, I'm starting out with a piece of half inch rebar. After firing up the forge, I place a piece of rebar in and let it come up to temperature. Once the rebar comes up to an orange color, it's time to start forging. I start by flattening out about an inch of rebar. This will become the blade. Once I've brought it down to a little over an eighth of an inch thick, I turn it onto its side and start forming it down into a point. I work a little bit at a time, working on both sides and the faces making sure that I don't roll over my edges. Once the blade is formed into a diamond shape, I start forming my bevels. I'm only forming them on one face so that one side is beveled and the other side is flat. I take it back to the forge and with a ball peen hammer start hammering out a little spoon or indentation where the thumb will go to give you a little more control over the knife. Once I'm happy with the shape of the spoon, I take it over to the angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and cut the excess rebar off of the end of the handle. I'm going for a roughly 5 inch handle and about 8 inches overall. Now that the handle's cut to length, I take it back to the anvil and flatten out about a half an inch. This is going to become a bottle opener and will also be a nice way to smooth out the end of the handle. Once the little tab is about an eighth of an inch thick, I take it back to my angle grinder, grind in my edge bevels, and square off the end so it's nice and smooth. Then I take it back to the edge of the anvil and curl it over so that it will fit over a bottle cap. This will also smooth over the back of the handle so it's comfortable to hold. I take it back to the forge and heat it up to non-magnetic to prepare for quenching and hardening. Rebar is usually considered a mild steel, though its actual carbon content is all over the place. And I've found that most types of rebar will harden somewhat with a water quench. I'm quenching this knife in water mainly so I can get a little bit of stiffness in the tip which will really aid this knife when it comes to prying and getting into oyster shells. Once it's hardened, I take a little bit of sandpaper and just clean it off slightly, leaving some of the forge scale behind. A little bit of mineral oil to help protect the blade from rust, and the knife is finished. So I hope you enjoyed building this knife with me today. If you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see me build, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my channel for other videos like this. And I've also written several books on different topics, including one on knife making. You can check out the links to those in the description below. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.